Christopher. Hello, Emily. Well, this is a surprise. Where's Rory? Uh, a last minute unexpected thing came up, but I brought a good substitute, half her jeans and a nice nifty Christopher package. Well, we're letting the freezing air get in. Come in, come in. Is she sick? There are terrible things making the rounds these days. No, she's not sick. Hi, Dad. Hello, Lorelei. Christopher, this is a surprise. Nice one, I hope. A very nice one. How are you, Richard? Oh, you're looking well. So are you. You playing a lot of golf lately? Ah, uh, well, more like it's playing me. Oh, let us not stand here. Come into the living room. Now, who wants a drink? Uh, martini, Manhattan, some scotch? Yes, please. Uh, you want to narrow that down for me? Hooch is hooch, Dad. Mm. I'll have a Manhattan. Same here. Right. So, you never said where Rory is. Rory's not here? Richard, you didn't even notice that your own granddaughter isn't here? Well, she's so quiet, she sometimes slips in unnoticed. She should work for the CIA. Uh, one cherry good for everybody? Fine with me. Me too. Eight, please. I'm peckish. Well, I noticed that Rory isn't here. Well, you've got that eagle eye, Mom. I'm afraid it's my fault, Emily. My girlfriend and I were passing through town, and we dropped by Stars Hollow for a visit, and she and Rory are off doing something together. You have a girlfriend? Sherry. And she and Rory are out together? I'm sorry, I should have called, Mom. Well, that would have been thoughtful. I mean, we set a place for her at the table and everything. Well, Chris is here, so it won't go to waste. Although normally I demand my own customized place setting. So, how long have you been with this woman? Eight months. Hmm, I'll bet she's pretty. Yes, she's very pretty. Uh, something in your eye, Lorelei? I got it. You've met this woman? Yes, Mom, I met this woman today, and she's very nice. Uh, what does she do? Does she work? Uh, she's the East Coast sales rep for L'Oreal Cosmetics. Mm, that sounds like a lot of responsibility. Mm, keeps her busy, involves some travel. What are they doing? What? Rory and Christopher's friend, what are they doing tonight? Dinner and a movie, something like that. It's my fault that we didn't call. Your work has you traveling too, I hear. Some. Everyone thinks that traveling on business is so glamorous. But what they don't realize is that the business traveler never gets to see the places he visits. My last trip to Rome, I spent the whole four days in a conference room by the airport. Might as well have been in French Lick, Indiana. Well, my trips are mostly local, just me and my Volvo. You have a Volvo? That's new, isn't it? I just got it. Excellent choice. It's nice and safe. That's a good family car. It's also excellent for cranking Metallica. Cranking Metallica? Mm-hmm. If that's some sort of drug reference, it isn't funny. So you're planning on having a family? What? With this woman? Her name's Sherry, Mom, and you're really putting Chris on the spot here. Well, he bought a family car. It's a natural question. Dad called it a family car. I'm sure there's nothing in the sales contract that says you have to have a family in order to buy the car. Although I didn't read all the fine print. You always drove a motorcycle before, didn't you? I still got it. Oh, well, a family man shouldn't drive a motorcycle. The accidents I covered for the firm involving motorcycles, the worst, grisly. They used this industrial machine to scrape the victims off the road like a huge spatula. Hey, mouthful of cherries here. So, are you living together? <sighs> Mom, get out the interrogation lamp, why don't you? It's okay. Yeah, but we're looking for something bigger in the Boston area. There are a lot of nice historical places up there. Something historical in our price range would be perfect. You know historical homes are infested with mold, don't you? Mold? It gets inside the walls and grows out of sight and shoots off spores that slowly kill you and your family. You should get a show on the Home and Garden Channel, Mom. When did you become an expert on mold, Emily? It was in the New York Times Magazine. I'd hold off buying a place with this woman until you look into this. Sherry, Sherry. Uh, well, it's actually gonna come down to whatever we can afford. It might just be a newly built place. With their shoddy craftsmanship, oh, you don't want that. What does that leave them with, Mama Teepee? I'm sorry, I just don't think that Rory should miss our dinners for something other than sickness or emergencies. That was the agreement. I'm sorry, Emily, really. Oh, Chris has apologized like a hundred times. How many more times do you want to hear it? Listen, I can call Sherry and have her and Rory come by after their movie. That way it won't be a totally rory evening. That's not what I want. Mom, we're desperately trying to work with you here. Working with me is one thing. Patronizing me is another. Excuse me. I feel horrible. Uh, don't, son. That's just Emily. I'll go see what I can do. 